morning and welcome to another beautiful, uh, wonderful Monday morning, a day that's full of expectation, a day that we know is a day that where our blessings are right around the corner. You know, as I face this Monday and as you're facing this Monday, there is one absolute that we know will always be true. And that is that my soul is guarded by the Lord. And that's a beautiful thing to know today. In Psalms 121, 7 through 8, this is what the Bible says. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. You know, when I step out this Monday, the knowledge that our God has already established a hedge around me to preserve me or to keep me, and that's what that indication is, to keep me from all evil. Now, it does not mean that evil will not be present because we know that the devil is never going to stop trying to bring us down. But the concept to preserve means that I will be shielded from that which the devil puts out there. When you think about uh, um, how we preserve things in this world that we live in, you know, for example, if you want to keep your, your food fresh, you lock them in the refrigerator so that the ravages of the heat and the, the, the bacteria has no effect on them. And that's the same thing that the Bible says God does for us. He wrapped us with his, he wraps us with his Holy Spirit so that the things that normally would bring us down have no impact or no effect on us. And that's a beautiful thing because with that knowledge, it modifies my behavior and it changes how I view my day. Because when I walk out knowing that nothing that comes against me can be effective towards me, it doesn't mean that people aren't going to try. They're going to always try. But this says that nothing that they do can be effective. That means that I don't care how much the enemy tries to bring me down, to try to steal my joy, to try to take away the blessing that God has given me. This text tells me that there's nothing that they can do, that there is no evil that they can present against me that will prosper. So here's what that says. Anytime I'm not prosperous, anytime that something happens in my life that causes me not to move forward, it's not because God has not protected me. It's because I have failed to accept the protection that he's given us. So I'm telling you today, as you step out and walk out into this world, know this, that you have been preserved, that you have been established by God so that no evil can ever come and bring you down. And with that knowledge, that should give you what you need to keep that kind of peace and that joy on the inside that the world did not give and that the world can't take away. And, and that's what's so beautiful about serving the God that we call ours. And that is, he will not let the enemy ever do anything so egregious that it will bring you down. And that's what excites me on this Monday. And that's what excites me every day of my life. So I want to extend that same kind of excitement to you, that as you step out on today, know this, that there's nothing that can be thrown against you that can let you or can bring you down. You have been preserved. You have been wrapped up. You have been taken. You have been put together. You have been sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Hey, listen, that says a lot as you step out and continue your week. Come on, let's pray one of those prayers that gives us what we need to be prosperous and victorious as we travel throughout this week. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you right now for your preserving power. I want to thank you for your word that says that no evil can ever come against me in a way 
that will bring me down because you've already established my victory. You've already established where I'm going. You've already said in your word that you know your thoughts towards me, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give me God and expect it in. I'm just so happy and so thankful for that on this hour. God, I just lift you up and I just praise your name for being the loving God that you are. And I'm asking you, God, to wrap your hands, your arms around all of your children, those that are listening to this podcast and those that, oh, Father God, that call upon your name, have your way in their life. Give them, God, that which will enable them to rise and shine, give you the glory and testify of your goodness. I thank you right now, my Savior, for who you are. I count this blessing done in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I just want you to know how much God loves you. I love you, and I hope you love yourself on today, knowing that you have the victory. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.